Hey guys, HGG White from Toro here, and it's time to do another video on Alibaba. And why on earth are they borrowing $4.5 billion? I actually wouldn't have known about this if someone hadn't linked me to it. So thanks to someone on eToro who uh, wanted me to make a video on this. Uh, always, if you have any questions, guys, you can leave them in the comment section. And I thought, actually, it's quite interesting that they have chosen to borrow $4.5 billion when really they have $80 billion of cash. So it took about five hours out of my day today to not only just read these documents, they're quite wordy, but to break all the information down and to really understand it. There's sort of three questions here. What are convertible notes? What are capped call options? And why did Alibaba do this? So what are convertible notes? This is where you buy money in the future for a discounted price today. They kind of work like treasury bills, where but you can custom build them. So uh, a convertible note might be a worth a thousand pounds in a year's time. That's their notional value. And you could buy that today for 909 pounds. 909 pounds times 10% is 1000 pounds. So in a year's time, you are gonna make 10% return on your investment. Baba is making five year convertible notes that are worth $1,000 each. What that means is in five years time, you will get a convertible note worth $1,000 except it's not actually worth $1,000. What it's actually worth is 9.5202 shares in Alibaba. $1,000 divided by 9.5202 shares in Alibaba is 105 pounds 4p. Or put simply 30% above what the Alibaba share price is today. This means in theory, what people will be doing is buying shares worth $80 today and getting shares worth $104 in five years time. Of course, however, if the share price goes up, what these people are potentially buying is shares that are $200. So what are we gonna do if the share price shoots up after selling these convertible notes? But what Alibaba have cleverly done is they've bought a bunch of capped call options. Now, if you don't know what call options are, basically it gives you the right to buy shares at a certain price. And so call options, if the share price goes up to $200, but you have bought the rights to buy it at $100, you can buy that share for $100 and then sell it for $200 or whatever. But basically, it doesn't matter what happens to the share price, you have the right to buy it at $100. Bubba, however, have purchased the right to buy these shares at up to 100% of its current price. So Bubba shares would need to go above 160 before these call options became invalid. But I don't think we're going to get to that point. What I think would happen if Alibaba saw the share price going up to $159 per share, essentially they would exercise their call options before the share price could get above the capped level. So the next question is an obvious one. Why are they doing this? Well, in the form where they announce that what they're doing, they also state that what they are looking to buy are the American depository shares, the ADS. These shares are obviously in US dollars and that 80 billion of cash I was talking about, well, actually right now that's in Chinese yen. And it's also locked up in China. Well, I'm sure Barber could get this Chinese yen out of the Chinese business and convert it into USD, that would probably be quite expensive. It would certainly be really expensive to do it all very, very quickly. So what they are doing instead is this convertible notes offering that enables them to get loads of US dollar much, much cheaper. Then it also enables them to convert their Chinese yen to be able to pay off these convertible notes over a much longer period of time and when it suits them. In short, by doing this, it means they can get 4.5 billion US dollars today in order to buy back shares that are currently at rock bottom price levels. It's quite clear that the management team at Alibaba know what they're doing here, but if you want to know what to do, think about this. 